Hi everyone, so for this challenge, or the start of this challenge, it's all to do with being able to find your pulse um, and then being able to take it whilst you're exercising. So there's two simple ways to find your pulse. The first one is to use your first and middle fingers on your wrist, which you can see Egan on the left is showing you. Um, or the other way is to put those same two fingers just below your jaw, so on the side of your neck, and then you'll also be able to feel your pulse. And the easiest way of doing it is just to get someone to time, or you can time um, easily yourself, for 15 seconds, and you're just going to count how many beats you can feel in the 15 seconds, and then you would then times that number by four to get your beats per minute. So we've got 60 seconds in a minute, and we're going to see what Egan and Bertie get. Obviously, this isn't necessarily the most accurate way of doing it. If you've got a Fitbit or um, some sort of fitness watch, that's probably a little bit more accurate, but it should be fairly accurate if you can... Um, get a good good feel of your pulse right are we ready then tell them when to go three two one go stop okay so how many did you get boys well, so like 27 27 that sounds quite quite fast oh, must be nervous about being on camera Egan I got 34. also quite also quite fast um so they have been running around they've just been playing a bit of cricket and a bit of badminton so that's probably why um so if you're sat at home sat on your sofa it's probably more likely to be about 60 um maybe 60 to 80 um so what they would do those figures is just then times them by four to get their beats per minute. And as I said, theirs is fairly high because they've been um, exercising. Okay, have a go at that then, guys.